Are you thinking about moving to Marin and you want to know more about it? Well, today I'm going to show you this beautiful neighborhood of Tiburon Crest. So let's get to it. Tiburon Crest is right up here on the street of Via Los Altos. It's very close to the freeway, but you have to go down this street and then up Tiburon Boulevard to get there. It'll take you a couple of minutes. And if you'd prefer to take the ferry, you have a couple of choices here. You could go down Tiburon Boulevard and go to the ferry that leaves Tiburon, or because you're so close to the freeway, you could go this way and get on the Larkspur Ferry, which has fast speed ferries to San Francisco. It would probably take you about the same amount of time to go to either the one here in Tiburon or the one that isn't quite on this map. It's just outside of it because the freeway would get you there very quickly. And if you're commuting there, it would also be a reverse commute. So you'd probably have no traffic at all to get there. So it's quite likely that you would get there in about the same time, particularly because if you were going down Tiburon Boulevard in the morning hours, you could end up with some of the traffic that happens around the school hours. Speaking of schools, Reed Elementary School is here. Del Mar Middle School is here. Bel Air Elementary, which is fourth through sixth, is here. There's also St. Hilary, which is a private school. Marin Country Day School, which is a private school. And right on the strip of water here is Marin Montessori School, which is also private. Regarding shopping, by far your closest shopping is gonna be right down here, a Nugget Market. You could go into downtown Tiburon. There's another market here. Again, closer would be the Strawberry Market, which is technically in Mill Valley, as well as Whole Foods, which is also in Mill Valley. Here's a closer look at Tiburon Crest. You get there by going down here, and then right here you turn on to Via Los Altos, and Tiburon Crest starts about right here, and it's all of this space up here and the little side streets off of Via Los Altos. Tiburon Crest has great access to Ring Mountain which is up here. These are all like permanent paths up to Ring Mountain and you can hike both ways on Ring Mountain at that point. You'll get 360 degree views, including San Francisco and the whole bay that surrounds Tiburon. If you wanna head to the water instead of to the hills, it's quite an incline up through here. So you may just want to drive down, go a little bit down Tiburon Boulevard until you get to Blackie's Pasture. Here is the parking lot for Blackie's Pasture. And there you can walk on the very long, about two miles of land right up to the town of Tiburon. A special thing about about this neighborhood here is the houses are on the hill and they have excellent views of San Francisco, which is this way from here. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up and hit subscribe, ring the bell notification so you'll be first to be notified when I drop a new video. Tiburon Crest is up the side of the hill, so it's not flat at all. The street is nice and wide, so it's easy to drive. Most of the homes have at least two stories, some more than that since they go down the hill. For Tiburon, these homes, many of them built in the 80s, are still relatively new because Tiburon has a lot of homes that were built around 1900. The views are outstanding up here and look back towards San Francisco. Size of the lots are a nice fraction of an acre and some larger than that. Most people have some drought resistant yards going, so that looks pretty good. And there are some large hedges around here, adding a little privacy to the area. The lowest recent sale was 3.3 million. That home was 4,140 square feet, built in 1987 and sits on 0.34 of an acre. That house was sold August 28, 2019. The highest recent sale was 6.5 million. That house is 5,010 square feet, built in 1987 and sits on 0.32 of an acre. That house was sold February 17, 2022. What did you think of this neighborhood? Comment below and tell me. If you are thinking of moving to Marin in nine days or 90 days, contact me. I love to help people just like you make a smart move. Have a great day.